First, I want to show you how to replace the existing layer of content in your case with another one with all the effects saved. For example, I put a content on timeline and applied them a brightness and contrast effect or any other effect. But then I changed my mind and decided to replace that content, but I don't want to add effects again. To do that, select the content on the timeline, go to the project panel and select the content I want to replace it with. Press Alt and drag it to the timeline on the layer that is there now. The content has been changed and the effects are still there. It doesn't matter what you replace, it could be a photo, a video or even a ready-made calm. Next, I will show you how you can hide unnecessary layers of your project in the timeline. For example, you have a complex project with many layers that you don't need to display. To do that, select the desired layer and click the shy icon. If you do not see this window, try clicking toggle switches modes at the bottom. or right-click on the panel and check the Switches checkbox. Replace the shy icons with all the layers you want to hide. After that click on the Hide All Layers for which the shy switch is set. The layers are now hidden and this will not affect the display of the calm. The next way to trim your comps to fit your content without creating a new comp or change comp settings. It seems that you can go into the composition settings and try to adjust the size of the comp to the size of your content. But everything is much simpler. Click region of interest and create a conditional mask at the size you want. After that go to File Crop Comp to Region of Interest. Done, the composition is trimmed to the desired size. The next way about FPS. Suppose you have three comps with different FPS and you don't want to go into each one and change it manually. For this there is a script called Comp Setter. I will leave the link in the description. Here you can change different parameters such as height and width of the composition, its duration, as well as the FPS value. To do this, simply select all comps in the project panel and set the desired FPS value. Done, as we can see the FPS of all comps has changed to the desired value.
The last way is to replace text in the columns. If you have a lot of comps with text and you don't want to go into each one and change the text manually, there is a PTE text edit script. This is a paid script with a trial version. I will leave the link in the description. It allows to edit all the text of your composition in one panel. Select the Comp in Project panel and click Search. The panel will display all your text layers and their parameters, such as font, size, fill, and text content, which you can change. Change the text right in this window. You can select all your text and change its font in one click. Fonts you can add here. This script makes working with text much easier. Thanks for watching.